Well, hello, we are in Lugano at the uh, 15th edition of the ICML. You know, one of the meetings that all the lymphoma community love, not only because it's sunny, because it's a wonderful place, but also because it's one of the best content and interactive place for people working on lymphoma. So, as usually, there are some great news here. We were all expecting to see the result of the randomized study combining lenalidomide to RCHOP the robust study, but also the ECRIN uh, uh, study. They were presented uh, uh, during this meeting, and we are sad to say that unfortunately, the addition of lenalidomide to the RCHOP regimen does not show a very significant benefit, uh, so there are some trends that may have to be worked out. So that was probably one of the big news from the, the, the symposium. But we have learned a lot of other things. There were new data presented on the uh, antibody against CD47 on the bispecific antibodies, about the CD19 antibodies, and many other drugs, BTK inhibitors, PI3 kinase inhibitors, antibody drug conjugate, update on many studies. Is there some things that emerge? I think it's difficult to say. You have to take a little bit a step backward and think about what we have seen, what are the real ways things are changing. One of the key events was also the first symposium of Lymphoma Hub, where four experts discussed in different lymphoma and CLA entities the prospect of chemo-free. A free debate, interactive, very good attendance, great things. I have also to say that the SEML is a place where we interact with pathologists and biologists, and we also learned a lot about all the news that are coming in the field of lymphoma, molecular defect in marginal zone, molecular defects that appear in patients that are resistant to workshop. One session like that was, one communication was presented in the plenary session. So always a lot of news. We have to continue to mature what's going on. I hope that all what you find in the lymphoma hub with dozens of interviews will help you to understand what has been communicated during this meeting and come back on the site and you will learn more.